art lovers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of abstract art, where shapes and lines come together to create a visually captivating masterpiece. I'm super excited to share this creative journey with you, so let's get started. At the beginning, let's gather our supplies. For this abstract piece, you will need a 8x10 inches canvas board or a stretched canvas. It's totally up to you to pick the surface. The reason I like canvas boards for my small pieces is that they take less space to store because I paint a lot. You will also need acrylic paint in various colors, oil pastels, acrylic markers, and black soft pastels. Feel free to choose any colors that you like. Abstract art is all about self-expression. When selecting your acrylic colors, consider your emotions and the mood you want to convey. Bold and vibrant colors can evoke energy, while soft hues create a sense of calm. I usually use a little bit of low saturation color. To desaturate, I have the trick. Blend in a little bit burnt amber. Your color will be desaturated. Next, selecting the color scheme and creating shapes. Abstract art gives us the freedom to experiment. I usually begin by painting a few blocks to establish the structure carefully selecting colors that resonate with the mood I want to convey. Don't hesitate to adjust the color intensity within different shapes to achieve depth and contrast. Once this step is complete, the painting already starts to look like a real deal. At this point, I simply refine the details once it dries. Wait for 30 minutes or more until it completely dries, then start creating lines. Lines are another essential element in my abstract art. They can provide structure and guide the viewer's eyes. Use acrylic markers to draw lines that connect with the shapes. These lines can be curvy, straight, or anything you desire. Meantime, Use oil pastel to draw any circles, triangles, or squares. Anything goes. Feel free to overlap them for added interest. I usually go with some geometric patterns, math formulas, and binary language. Just added some features to express myself. Don't be afraid to layer your shapes and lines. Building up layers creates depth and complexity in your artwork. It's all about finding balance within your composition. Remember, abstract art is about expressing yourself freely and enjoy the creative process. There are no right or wrong decisions here. It's all about what feels right to you. As you put the finishing touches on your masterpiece, step back and observe your work from a distance. Make any adjustments necessary to achieve the desired balance and visual impact. And 
there you have it. Our abstract art piece, born from shapes and lines, is complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more art tutorials. And until next time, keep creating.